today we're going to share some basic information about museum and other nonprofit boards. Not that kind of board, Jeanette. The board of directors is the governing body of an organization. It provides big picture oversight, sets policies, and makes sure that the organization has the resources it needs to successfully serve its community. Welcome, I'm Tamara Hemmerlein from the Indiana Historical Society Local History Services Department and this is my colleague, Jeanette Rooney. Did you know that a museum is like a ship and the board is its rudder? The board helps set the course and steer the organization. It does its best to keep the museum on clear seas to a secure port. Strong boards are made up of people who serve for specific periods of time and who are enthusiastic about the museum's mission and eager to do the work of guiding the organization. Great board members understand the basics of board service and are ready to take on the responsibilities that come with that service. Museums operate in the public trust. The principle that certain natural and cultural resources are preserved for public benefit. In the case of a museum, this means that while the organization may legally own its collections, it isn't keeping those collections to itself. Museums don't hoard objects. They care for the objects, learn the history associated with them, and use them to tell the stories of the communities the museum serves. Board members are fiduciaries. Fiduciaries are individuals entrusted to carry out certain duties for an organization that it cannot carry out for itself. They have the obligation to act in the organization's best interest. They're like guardians who use their knowledge and best judgment to make decisions about the museum and its mission. There are three legal duties of nonprofit board service, obedience, care, and loyalty. When someone agrees to serve on the board, they're obligated to follow the three legal duties. The duties are not optional. Board members can't just nope out of them. Board members must follow their organization's governing documents, comply with laws applicable to the organization, and ensure that it satisfies regulatory and reporting requirements. That's the duty of obedience. Board members understand and follow the mission. They listen, ask questions, and read everything they're given. Good board members participate actively, attend board meetings and events. They plan for long-term sustainability by engaging in long-range planning, goal setting, and fundraising. That's the duty of care. Board members act in the best interests of the organization. They avoid conflicts of interest and the appearance of conflicts of interest. They understand that board business is confidential. What happens in the board meeting stays in the board meeting. But they are active advocates and enthusiastic ambassadors for the organization and the community every chance they get. That's the duty of loyalty. To sum it all up, museum boards have clear legal duties, provide big picture guidance, help fundraise and actively support the museum's mission. A strong and engaged board is key to the museum's success and long-term sustainability. Thank you for joining us today and look for more timely tips from local history services.